Good morning. Welcome to the Ewan United Methodist Church Children's Time Service. My name is Lay Minister Don Plazinski, and welcome to our first service of the year 2021. Today, we are going to talk about emotions. We all have them. Sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're sad, sometimes we're angry, and sometimes we're afraid. But did you know that Jesus felt these same emotions too? When we think of Jesus, we usually picture him as happy, joyful, loving, and courageous. It is hard to think of Jesus as being sad, angry, or, or afraid. But he did feel these emotions. He was God, but he was also human. Because of this, he was, because he was able to feel the same emotions that we could feel, truly understood us. We can find examples of the emotions that he felt in the Bible. And one example can be found in the New Testament in the book of John, chapter 2, verses 3 through 16. When it was almost time for the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple courts, he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and others sitting at tables exchanging money. So he made a whip of cords and drove all, all from the temple courts, both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. To those who sold doves, he said, get these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. Jesus was angry because the people were misusing his father's temple and turning it into a marketplace instead of a place of worship. They were using the temple for personal gain. Jesus experienced what is called righteous anger. The money changers were more concerned about what they wanted and how they could gain money than they were about God. He was angry about something that was very wrong. And he focused on anger on correcting that wrong by driving out those who were corrupting the place of worship. And he didn't hurt anyone but he did make them leave the temple so that the temple and the people could go back to the true purpose of learning about God and worshiping him. Fear and sadness are other emotions we don't often think of Jesus feeling. When we usually think of him as being brave or courageous, the Bible tells us of a time when Jesus was in so much grief or sadness that he sweat blood. Have you ever experienced sadness about something that you knew you needed to do, but you were sad about it or scared? Like maybe going to the dentist to have a tooth taken out? I don't know, I don't like that. In the book of Luke, chapter 22, Jesus entered the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. Now this was the night that he knew he was going to be betrayed by Judas, and he knew he would be taken by soldiers and he knew eventually he would be crucified. He knew he'd be taken away from his friends whom he loved. He knew that he would experience pain, a lot of pain and hurt. The book of Luke is in the New Testament. And I will read Luke 22 verses 39 through 44. Jesus left the city and went to the Mount of Olives. His followers went with him. Jesus went there often. He said to his followers, Pray for strength against temptation. Then Jesus went about fifty steps away from them, and he knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, please don't make me drink this cup. But do what you want, not what I want. Then an angel from heaven came to help him. Jesus was full of pain. He struggled hard in prayer. Sweat dripped from his face like drops of blood falling to the ground. Imagine being so sad or scared or anxious that, that you sweat like blood. Jesus was praying very hard. He looked to God for help. He was sad and maybe even a bit afraid for the future. But he accepted what God planned for his life because he was willing to be our Savior so that we could have forgiveness through him. God sent an angel to help him in this time of need. God did not leave him alone in his deep sadness. 
Well, we can learn from knowing that Jesus could feel these emotions too. We can learn that we know that we have a Savior who really understands us because he felt the very same things that we have, that we do. And this was important to us to know that our Savior felt as we do. He understood our human emotions, but it has also showed us that God doesn't leave us alone to suffer with our emotions. God is with us. God sent an angel to comfort and help Jesus when he needed it. And God will not leave us alone either. Having emotions like sadness or fear or anger is not a bad thing, but how we react to this, these emotions is what can make them good or bad. Jesus showed us the right way to deal with our emotions. He showed us that when we're so full of emotions, we can pray. We can turn to God and ask for help. We can find comfort in prayer when our emotions seem too big for us to handle. We have a Savior in Jesus who understands us, who is not afraid to feel as we do. So when you are sad or you're feeling angry or scared, and remember, you can turn to God in prayer. Try going to an adult in your life that you trust, a parent, a relative, or a friend, and ask, ask them to pray with you about whatever it is that you're feeling. They can help you pray just like Jesus' friends did for him when he went to the garden to pray. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for giving us a Savior who felt like we do and who understands us. Help us to remember that when we feel emotions that make us feel bad, we can turn to you in prayer. Thank you for your love that never ends. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you. And remember to smile, because God loves you.